color red. <laughs> All this light over here, I feel like I'm on uh, TV. <laughs> Oh, praise God. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome to Holy Convocation. Hallelujah. Amen. We've been really enjoying ourselves. We've enjoyed Thursday, Friday, last night. Amen. Prophet Ward did a wonderful, wonderful job. Amen. And uh, I just want to take a moment before we start our message, and I, I won't be long. I know it's going to be a, a, full, a full day for us. Thank God for our psalmist today. Amen. Sister Kelly, amen. God bless you and your ministry. Hallelujah. Amen. But I want to, and on, on behalf of Apostle Darling, I'm sure she's going to also, thank you uh, on behalf of herself, uh, Pastor Early and myself. Uh, I want to start it off by thanking the entire uh, convocation, Holy Convocation Committee and production teams. Uh, I want to really give God glory and honor. Thank God for Elder Nell Johnson and the wonderful job she does in keeping everyone informed, all the leadership informed the entire year uh, uh, at, uh, doing before and after Holy Convocation. She's worked tirelessly, giving us reports, and I, I, I thank God for her administrative skills. Hallelujah. Thank God for our leader, Apostle Darlene uh, Turner, and uh, Deacon Alfonso Jones, and Deacon Samuel Anthony for their wonderful um, production and also the media and sound teams uh, with Deacon Carl Ankrum and uh, again, uh, Deacon Alfonso Jones. And then we also want to thank all the praise and worship leaders, uh, guests, uh, Callie Day, who we just heard, um, Eddie James, Isaac Tarver, amen. And of course, our own music ministry, uh, uh, thank God for the leaders of the ministry and those that have participated in singing uh, uh, our praise and worship. It was as if we were in the sanctuary. So we give God praise for Prophet Ward and Elder Robin De Silva, De Silva and Minister Elsa Harris. Uh, and the Joshua Generation Prophetic Dancers did a magnificent, magnificent, uh, it was just magnificent uh, dance. Uh, and we give God praise for Elder Teresa, Elder Teresa, Elder Teresa Cooper, Elder Teresa, and Deaconess Alexandria Gilbert for their leadership role in uh, their production and all that uh, they've done, we know that it was bathed in prayer, uh, hallelujah. And all the staff that work with the youth this weekend, wonderful. We thank God for pastors elect John and Sheila Wesley, elder elect Cynthia William, elder elect Christy Richardson, elders Anthony and Merlin McIntosh, our condolences. Amen. So uh, we also extend condolences to Elder Willie Brown in the passing of her father. We want to keep them in prayer as they travel uh, from Michigan. Amen. So we give God praise. Listen, you don't have to wait. Uh, our tithes, our covenant offering, Amen. You are welcome to sow those, sow them to your church directly. You uh, know how to sow uh, into uh, your various churches, San Diego, um, uh, uh, Waukegan, uh, Liberty East and West, um, uh, Zion, 
uh, Orlando so so directly into your church, Amen. So we want you to so um, uh, you can start now with our covenant offering. I thank God for covenant. Praise the Lord. And so we give God praise. I'm going to pray. I thank God for healings. I thank God for deliverance. I thank God that we were able to yet have holy convocation and all that that has been done. It certainly has been a blessing. And that's what prayer and, and bathing, good morning, that's what prayer and bathing, these activities, uh, uh, it's not just another, um, um, just not just another uh, uh, event. It's something that our apostle uh, laid the foundation, and actually, Holy Convocation was birthed out of what we had um, years before called camp meeting. Amen. So we're giving God glory. I also want to mention Elder Amina Taylor as well for her great work that she does in assisting Apostle Darling and, and our church as well. So we give her praise. Thank God for you. Amen. All right. So we're talking about the former and the latter glory and how the latter glory shall be greater than the former. I want to break it down for you this morning. Come on, somebody. Amen. First of all, let's talk about the history of the former glory. As I said, um, Holy Convocation was birthed out of uh, our earlier camp meetings, and we began to grow. And uh, we had talents like Norman Lee and uh, Carl Ankrum and uh, uh, Dwight Taylor. We had talents who were growing with the ministry and who brought their talents into the church and, and didn't charge us anything and uh, began to labor. And as we grew, they grew, and their, their, their skills grew, and then their teams grew. And uh, I also want to thank the elder over media, Elder Marcellus Harris, uh, and uh, Elder Phelan, and uh, Evangelist Carissa Bryant. Uh, these are the foundational people of our media ministry that helped us to get to where we are today. And now our teams have grown vastly. Uh, each church has their own team. and uh, But the labor that was put in, the work that was put in through our chief apostle, our uh, apostle darling, uh, and all the team members and all the churches that would prepare for uh, the uh, Holy Convocations and, and all the events that were held uh, honoring our chief apostle and apostle darling. Um, it, it, it was uh, good. It's our foundation. Praise the Lord. And we want to remember the foundation because that's your history. That's your legacy. That's where we stand. Praise the Lord. So we're in Haggai. Amen. We're in Haggai. Amen. God is about covenant. And what I want you to see, even in Haggai, God brings them to remembrance of their departure or their <clears throat> their forefathers out of Egypt. He brings them into remembering that this is the foundation toward freedom. Praise God. It's the foundation towards freedom. And we know that um, Apostle Turner was the forerunner. In this city, the city of Chicago, Illinois, he was the forerunner for um, uh, uh, the um, Priscilla and Aquila, the women's ministry, the men's ministry, the men's fellowship, the women's fellowship, uh, the prophetic uh, Joshua prophetic dancer, uh, uh, drama ministry. He was the forerunner. 
And now we see that spread uh, all over the mind ministry. And uh, we see the uh, wonderful um, legacy being carried on, not only in the Liberty International Network, but also across our city, across the nation. We see uh, they've added flags. They uh, it's, it's just so much built on the foundation. So when God says the that, uh, let me not get ahead of myself. Okay, so uh, right now the prophetic is at hand. And and uh, I I like to talk to the prophets of uh, the of these uh, of this network that there is a commission uh, and and in that commission it requires obedience it requires obedience praise the Lord so let's look at uh, Haggai first we're gonna go to Haggai. Mm -hmm. I lost my page. <laughs> okay, my page. Okay, glory to God. Well, let's pray while I find Haggai. Father God, we give you praise. We give you glory and honor. We thank you for Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord God, for this appointed time in our day, in our uh, destiny, Lord God, that you brought us together, Father, as a people and as a nation, God, a people you brought us into a place, Father, of history. We brought us into a place, Lord God, where we're together as family. We come together, Lord God, to honor one another, to give you praise, to give you glory. And we bless you now. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord God, in Jesus name. Amen. So we give honor to God, to uh, Jesus Christ, our Savior, to the Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank God for Apostle Darling. Amen. Thank God um, as she carries on the vision of Holy Convocation. Amen. Thank God for what is to be and what shall it shall become in Jesus name. Amen. So we give God praise for it. Hallelujah. I'm still um, messing with my Bible. All right. I'm, I'm in Haggai. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. I'm looking for what I'm looking for. It's in my face. We in Haggai, the second chapter. Amen. I'm going to start at verse three because I believe this is the foundation for where we're going when we talk about the latter day glory, the latter day glory. Amen. Uh, I want to say that the latter day glory does not take away from the former glory. Amen. It's a jump shoot of the form of glory. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's look at what God says to Zerubbabel. Who is left among you that saw this house in her first glory? And how do you see it now? It is not in your eyes in comparison of it as nothing. Amen. So in other words, uh, who is left that saw the house in its former glory? Amen. Saw that all that it took and saw that all the, the prayer and all that uh, God commanded at the, at the hand of our chief apostle, that it was bathed in prayer and it was bathed in uh uh, sacrificing, uh, saint sacrificing to help build what we have now as a network. And uh, 
uh, the cost, the cost and, and the life, the deaths and all that God has done uh, in this anointed place and this anointed uh, uh, uh spear that God has given us. So we remember the former glory. We don't, we're not trying to uh, put one against the other or make one lesser than the other. Amen. Yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel, saith the Lord, and be strong, O Joshua, son of Jodesh. The high priest, and be strong, all ye people of the land, said the Lord, and work. Say that and work. Amen. So, what it's going to require work, it requires teamwork. Amen. And our apostle, he started us as team together, everyone accomplishing much, not just one person, but everyone accomplishing much. Praise the Lord. Amen. He said, said the Lord and work for I am with you, said the Lord of hosts. And according to the word that I covenanted with you when you came out of Egypt, Amen. Listen, he does not uh, say your former uh, fathers, your former mothers and aunties. Amen. He teach, treats them as a one people. Amen. And he says, so my spirit remaineth among you, fear ye not. For thus said the Lord of hosts, yet once it is a little while, I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all nations, <coughs> excuse me, and the desire of all nations shall come, and I will fill this house with glory, said the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, said the Lord. And the glory, the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the of the former, said the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, said the Lord of hosts. Amen. And so what the Lord said, uh, uh, that the latter glory shall be greater. Why? Because what does that mean for us? It means increased work. It means increased giving. It means increased time. When we look at uh, the foundation of this network, it took time, time away from Apostle Turner's family, time uh, uh, spent in prayer and supplication, time uh, praying for people. Come on, somebody. It took work and it was painful. It was done through pain, through agony. And yes, knowing you're doing the will of God, but yet bearing pain in the loss of loved ones, in the loss of members, in the loss uh, of, of those that walked away. Uh, it took work. And so I, I, I want to put this in the younger people as you're coming up, that you recognize that you're going to have to give up something. And you're going to have to sacrifice something in order for the greater glory. My God, you're going to have to work. Jesus told his disciples all that they saw him do. He said, greater works than these ye shall do. It is not a glory for us to brag about. It's not a glory for us to be uh, uh, proud about. It's a glory that we take humility and we bow our heads. And we know that God is setting before you what it means to be with him.
and what it means to be called a son, what it means to be called a daughter of the house of the gospel. Amen. And so, yes, there's a lot of day glory and it comes with a price. And I haven't heard anybody talk about that, that there is a price to pay. There are sacrifices that must be made. Amen. There are personal aspirations that you won't live to uh, achieve. That's why you want to do it God's way. You want to be where God wants you to be. Amen. When we talk about glory, we say kabod in the Hebrew, but it also means uh, uh, honor. I'm going to have a greater honor bestowed upon you, said the Lord. Amen. It refers to, to wealth and uh, uh, it's also uh, significantly talking about positive uh, reputation. How's your reputation? How do people see you living? How do you act away from the pulpit? How do you act away from the church. Come on, somebody. God is real. Amen. And so we, we, we're we looking at the fact that the former glory had a price. And I want to tell you that the latter glory will have a price. Jesus said that uh, for us, if, if we want to be with him, we had to die daily. We had to uh, take up our cross and follow him. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It requires all hours of prayer, hours of, 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 of sacrifices, not, not just uh, monetary sacrifices, but your time. I told you about Elder Nell working tirelessly for over a year, keeping, uh, keeping reports going of all the uh, churches. Amen. It's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. And there's so many that have sacrificed for this ministry. Amen. Let's turn to Psalms. Are you getting this? Amen. So the history of the form of glory is your foundation. And God, when he talk about the, uh, uh, the latter glory, he included the form of glory. He said, remember, I covenant with you. The covenant don't start with the latter glory. The covenant started long before the form of glory. My God, I feel you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Psalms 85. Is this good, you all? Say, this is good. <laughs> Psalms 85, verse 8 and 9. And I got one more scripture and I'm... Um, I believe we have a 12 o'clock session. Um, Twelve thirty, Amen. We have uh, Thomas, Eddie James, and Apostle Darlin C. Turner. So I'm not going to keep you so you can get yourself situated. Amen. This is like your Sunday school hour. Amen. But we give God praise for Sunday school. I thank God for all my Sunday school teachers, my Sunday school elders, and all those that labor and, and as they labor with the children yesterday. Amen. Amen. Psalms 85, 8 and 9. I will hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints. But let them not turn again to folly. If you are going to operate 
in the latter glory, you got to be mature. You cannot be playing around. You cannot because uh, as God is real, the devil is real. And he's watching for the uh, for a way to get in at you, either through you, your children, your spouse, your friends. Come on, somebody. It's a time when you have to assess yourself and you have to be responsible. Amen. Amen. I will hear what the Lord, what God the Lord will speak for. He will speak peace unto his people and to his saints, but let them not turn again to folly. You have to make up your mind, make up your mind that this is real and you are in it for the long haul. Amen. You're in it Come on, somebody, because you can't quit it. I can't get me no amen. Surely his salvation is nigh them that fear him, that glory may dwell in the land. Amen. What has happened in our land today? The glory is not in our land. Because saints have not made up their mind to live this. And we have uh, ambitions and motives. And our motives are not pure. And we want to uh, ambitiously rival against one another. We got to work, people. It's a work to do. Amen. Our apostle left us with work to do. And the pandemic can't stop the work of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So we honor God. Amen. I, I think about uh, Apostle Turner and uh, 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 Apostle Darling, how they they paid the price having to leave their children and going and and they paid the price. I, uh, 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 Apostle Darling left a uh, um, a major uh, job with a top firm to be by her husband's side to help build the network churches. Sacrifice. And see, we look at the people, but we don't know the sacrifice. And it's a sacrifice. Lives have gone on. Pastor D went on. Elder McCright went on. Our foundation. But nevertheless, we built and are building on the foundation that the glory of the latter house may be greater than the former. God wants us to do greater. Jesus said greater work than needs. He wants us to win more souls. He wants us to pray more. He wants us, come on somebody, to go out and, and he wants us to sacrifice more. He wants us to be who we are in him. Come on. He wants us with a tenacity that we will not quit. No matter what the enemy throws at us, we know how to dodge. We know how to box. We know how to Push, come on, somebody. We know how to be steadfast and we become unmovable so that we may abound in the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. My last scripture, 2 Corinthians, third chapter. Praise God. Are you hearing me? See, saints like to jump up and jump, jump, and 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 we get excited without understanding. And the Bible says, in all thy getting, get understanding. 
Understand the weight of the glory. Understand the weight of the sacrifices that you're dying to yourself and you're coming alive in his grace. And that we go from glory to glory. There's an acceleration. Yes, there's a shift. Yes, there's a moment. Come on. But in the shift, how are we shifting? Where are we shifting to? Have we asked God about the shift? Hallelujah. In the shift, there's birthing. Birthing. God is doing something in your life and in your lives and in the lives of these young men and women. And I just want to keep them close so that they don't make the same mistakes that we made. We made mistakes in our form of glory. We made mistakes that brought shame. That's why we have mentors. That's why we have elders to speak, to give wisdom. Are you hearing me? No, there's no shortcuts. And I once told someone that the church is not the world. In the world is doggy dog. I jump on your shoulders so I can get up there before you. But if God does not promote you, you jump in so you can fall. He said, I chose you. You did not choose me. Amen. And that's why we have unhappy people in their offices. Because is it something that God wanted you to do? Amen. I'm going to read my scripture and I'm just about seven. Verse seven. But if the ministration of death, written and engraven in stones, was glorious or came with the glory, so that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses for the glory of his countenance, which glory was to be done with done away. How shall not the ministration of the spirit be rather glorious? For if the ministration of condemnation be glory, much more the, the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory. For even that which was made glorious had no glory in this respect by reason of the glory that excelleth. For if that was which is done or passed away was glorious, was with glory, much more that which remained is glorious or in glory. Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech. Amen. He goes on and talks about Moses. Moses had a glory that faded, that died. But if you're to excel in this latter glory, you have to understand what it took in the former. It took Moses having a relationship with God. It took obedience. It took allowing God to chasten him. My God. It took understanding. 
It is my prayer that in this latter glory, that you are successful and you are as successful as your prayer life. You are as successful as your study time with God. You are as successful in this latter glory as your obedience is today. I give God praise and glory. Listen, come on and uh, give. It's time for our tithes, our offerings again. And uh, for those of you um, that uh, uh, want to give in the CETM offering, we know that uh, uh, Apostle Darling is coming up and uh, she'll take that offering right now. We want to make sure that the church's tithes uh, go to the church. I know she would want that to happen. Uh, so we want you to all know that God <coughs> is moving. Amen. And yes, there's a lot of glory. Amen. But is that glory that's connected, connected to Almighty God. I give God praise. Thank each and every one of you. It has been wonderful. Say hello to all of our network churches. I love you. I give God praise for you. And um, it's just been uh, a pleasure uh, speaking with you this morning. I pray you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you at our next uh, time, I believe at 1230. I think I said, amen. I want to make sure I have it right. Okay. Eddie James and our own Apostle Darlin. That's at 12.30 p.m. Go to libertytemple.org and get connected. God bless you. Father God, we give you praise. We thank you now, Lord God, for giving uh, us grace and peace. Thank you, Lord God, for all that you're doing and all that you've uh, uh, told us and have said to us all this weekend. We bless you. We bless all the network churches, all the network leadership, and, and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, God be the glory. Thank you. God bless you.